Great Sunday evening. Hope you had a wonderful 3 8 2020. We're in both Proverbs 8 because the date and because the next chapter would be Proverbs 9. So I'm going to pass it to Timotheus. Go ahead. In Proverbs 8, there verse 10 says, choose my instruction instead of silver. Knowledge rather than choice gold. So David's son, Solomon, was that his firstborn son? Ah, uh, well, Bathsheba. His son, regardless, um, became king after him. That might have been his second son because Absalom died, right? He has several sons. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, he had a lot of sons. Anyway, his son Solomon had, I think, a wish like or one request from God, and he didn't request like I want a million shekels or whatever the currency was back then. Mm-hmm. I guess he didn't want to like hit the lottery or whatever. He he asked for was it wisdom? Mm-hmm. So he asked for wisdom. So that's what you what you should have is wisdom because if you have if you are blessed like with money or something and you don't have like the wisdom to to know how to use it then they like you really have it for no reason and if you're blessed with like an opportunity but you don't have wisdom then it's all for naught so the most important thing to have is the the wisdom in the mind or more so like the soul to 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 make the right decisions cuz if you're if you're if your soul isn't right then everything else in your life is going to go wrong. So make sure that your priorities are set straight. And, um, yeah. Yeah, apply that to your life. Um, We've been talking about all day. I guess listening is better. Like, it's better to, to, to receive instruction and to, and to listen rather than somebody give, like, just give it to you because, you won't know how to get more of it. You'll just you'll just have it, and you'll be like, okay, what now? So it's you should you know listen to what other people have to say, especially people who are more experienced and who have been through those things before, and 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 let that uh, that seed plant inside of you, so you'll you'll be wiser. Hey Amen. That's pretty good. What what spoke to you in nine while you're getting it? Um, eight thirteen verse thirteen. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy, and the evil way in the forward mouth do I hate. So the Lord hates it, so we hate what the Lord hates. We love what He loves. And wisdom again was set up from everlasting the beginning, just like we were saying in um the the morning hours. Okay, and chapter nine. In chapter nine um is talking about the invitations of wisdom and folly, and it's like personified by a woman. And um in both. Both women, they it says that they go to the highest points of the city. Yeah. So it's it's equally accessible, and a lot of times, it may you may not understand like okay like is this, I know I know me personally like I be like is this me talking or is this God talking, and then a lot of times it's it's pretty obvious if it's if it's me talking because a lot of times I'll just do it for, for what's gonna make me feel good or like what's gonna what's gonna what I want at that very moment, but I when, I know it's God talking when it's something that'll that it'll make me deny my flesh, but it'll help me in the long run for my future family and stuff like that. So, Oh, hallelujah. Whosoever follow after the Lord, deny themselves, take up their cross and follow me. <laughs> what spoke to me out of that chapter is verse 11. We were talking about the brevity of life and the end of life. And verse 11, the guarantee is for by me, wisdom, thy days shall be multiplied and the years of thy life shall be increased. So, so many benefits to listen to the word of God, but most of all, apply it to our lives. Forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. That's in verse six. Okay. Thank you, Timotheus. He's about to study. We're about to get ready for.